think uh, he's think so it. relatable uh, because I you know I mean he's we are also geeky. We are all geeks, and he's he's a geek, and you are a geek too. <laughs> uh, I want to ask you uh, because when you first the first video you you saying that oh, I'm gonna be Simon in the series with a dead Simon. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We, uh, we thought, uh, is he acting, or is he just gonna, way he does he need to act to, to play Simon? Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> what do you think about it? Um, no, I definitely, it, it's funny because I didn't realize how, I, I know him and I are very similar, but we're also very different. Uh -huh. And at that audition, I was very nervous, very excited, and I'm glad it, it came off the way it came off, in that sense. Like, it, I, don't, I don't really know. Uh, we, we think you are very similar to him. Yes. So, do you think it, uh, it's difficult or do you think it's more difficult because you are so, so very similar? Um, I think, I think I mean, at times it can be difficult and at times uh -huh. it can be different. Um, it can be difficult because he's very similar, so I forget sometimes that we are different. Uh -huh. So, like, my first response isn't always the best. Like, when reading a script, I'm like, oh, I want to do it like this. I'm like, wait a second, that, that's how I want to do it. How does Simon want to, like, what is Simon really going through here? Simon has to deal with this, and he's thinking about this, and what does, he, what does he want? Oh, he wants this. Oh, no, he can't do it like this. That doesn't make sense. Like, there was one scene that I had with Kat, where originally we'd shot it a certain way, and I had Simon kind of do something that was a little uh, forward for him. And I, at the time, it felt like a good idea, but we got to reshoot the scene because something with lighting didn't work, so we had to do it all over again. And doing it again, I was like, oh, thank God, because that doesn't work for Simon. That works for Alberto, but not for Simon. Simon's different. Simon has other priorities and other things that um, he worries about that would be very active in the scene. So it, it made sense. So yeah, at times it can be difficult, but at times it really helps, because a lot of time when I get a script, I, I immediately know how he feels about a lot of things, because now it's, we've done 23 episodes. We did 13 and we've done 10. So it's someone I've lived with and I understand the way he thinks and what he cares about. So at times it's beneficial and at times I have to be, I have to be smart. Yeah, there's one scene in the first season, mm -hmm. William Burr uh, lies for Ted. Yeah, I mm -hmm. can say that. That, 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 that scene into a bird alive. Yes. Uh, how did you guys make that? It's so scary, so... Um, well, they did. They shot it in two days. Okay. They shot one day of me going in and then one day of me coming up. So it was shot... Like, we had two nights in a row at the cemetery. The first night was me coming out. So what they did is they built this giant box that was like seven feet by four feet deep that I could sit inside like really? this. Really? Four feet deep? It was, no, oh, the, the, well, the actual grave was like six or seven feet deep. But the box is like, it was, it was like this, it was big. So I could sit inside and there was actually someone else inside the box the whole time. Then they covered it in dirt and they made it look like regular ground. And then there was this little like styrofoam thing that I could like pop my head out of. And that's where, that's where I climbed out. And they covered it with dirt before the scene. And then there was a guy inside with like a walkie talkie and a, and a flashlight. And they said, all right, uh, camera set. So I turned the flashlight off. And they'd be like, action. And he'd be like, action. And then I'd have to like, and then like come out and do that whole scene. So that was like really cool because I, I never knew how they did that before either. So that was like a really fun yeah, shoot. scary too. That one wasn't that scary. No. Because it was just coming out, it was more exciting, and I got to like crawl back in, <laughs> and we did it again, and then crawl out again. It was cool. Um, the next day was scary. Because the next day was me getting buried. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, that was very haunting. That was, uh, it's, it's, uh, that, being buried alive is not fun. It's, no. it's scary. It's, uh, it's very upsetting. Um, especially like outside of the scene when they're like, oh, just lay in the grave. And I'm like, we're in a real cemetery. Like, I don't want to lay in a grave in a real cemetery until I'm, until I'm dead. Like, <laughs> that's not something I want to do right now. <laughs> um, so that was just like psychologically like kind of creepy and didn't feel right. Also, there, I, I thought it was a little disrespectful to the people that were dead there, just a little bit. I mean, I think they know I wasn't, but like it was creepy. And then there's also the, uh, the aspect of being Simon in that moment. Knowing what that means, being buried with the talus and having Clary and Jace there, mostly Clary, Jace, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but like whatever. knowing that my life is, as Simon, his life is forever changed after that moment. That was like it's upsetting. It was, it was heavy, um, but it was a lot of fun to shoot. As an actor, it was like a dream. Simon's book Sonic that was released. Yes, yes, it's cool. It's cool. No, it was. Um, that poster's interesting. 
I, I, I think it looks really good. I'm very excited, but I feel like some of that is how Simon, I think, wants to see himself. You know, as like the sexy vampire. I don't think, right now, I don't think he's there yet. Do you guys want to start taking pictures? pictures? Yeah, we, I can keep talking. Yeah. Like, right, right now, I don't think he's there yet. I think maybe that's where we'll end up at the end of season two. Yeah. But, because uh, that's like very confident. It's very, he's a vampire. I, I think he's still in the, the plate of like figuring that out. Where he is right now at the end of 2A.